Chicago Public Schools and the Teachers Union return to the bargaining table amid growing calls for CEO Pedro Martinez to step down. CBS News Chicago investigators joined us from Cameron Elementary in Humboldt Park, where a tense round of negotiations began about an hour ago. This is not the first public bargaining session, but the atmosphere is distinctly strained, giving the CTU House of Delegates vote of no confidence and Mayor Brandon Johnson asking Martinez to step down. Se queda porque vamos a estar con él. Mexican American leaders and CPS parents rallied outside of Pilsen's Benito Juarez High School, CEO Pedro Martinez's alma mater, in the pouring rain Tuesday. I can see uh, the really good job he did. He should not give into the mayor. Saying Martinez has been unfairly targeted by Mayor Brandon Johnson and the CTU for opposing high interest loans to support teacher raises. The rumors and innuendo coming out of the fifth floor to damage the reputation of Pedro is just uh, just wrong, plain wrong. The group says Martinez's Mexican heritage is important. According to CPS data from last September, Hispanic students make up about 47 percent of CPS enrollment. Juan Rangel, CEO of the Urban Center, tells me this year it's more than 50 percent. But it's not just because he's Mexican. He has done a very good job. In spite of the challenges with COVID and other things, he's done a very good job of moving the school district forward. The CTU House of Delegates' vote of no confidence in Martinez came, quote, in light of his failures to urgently address the needs confronting the district and embark on the transformation of our schools. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson um, asked CEO Pedro Martinez to step down from the helm of the school district. He apparently declined. Chalkbeat Chicago senior reporter Mila Kompilova, who has been covering these bargaining sessions closely, explained to me that tonight's session will likely be more tense given this backdrop with the CEO. And a lot of the conflict stems from what the union sees as slow progress on contract negotiations. Negotiations very much and the, the lack of progress has led to this moment of tension and conflict. And so it'll be interesting to see how they play out tonight at this latest public session. Capilova says that Martinez has not attended recent bargaining sessions like this one. Martinez's office has declined multiple requests for comment, but today he penned an opinion piece in the Chicago Tribune saying in part, quote, I have chosen not to resign because doing so would risk creating a leadership vacuum and instability that could disrupt the strategic progress we've made to date. In Humboldt Park, Megan Hickey, CBS News Chicago Investigators.